What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Friday the 13th. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. And we'll be talking about Joker 2. Just to kick it off with Scream 6. Scream 6 has passed Scream 3's entire domestic run. And Scott Men Mendelson from The Rap is predicting that this will end around $110 million domestically. Which is realistic. The entire worldwide, worldwide run. Once international numbers update beyond just $40 million could see scream six i think end at around what scott is saying 185 million worldwide was their prediction actually at this point internationally we're at, we're at 49 million so scream six has basically already outdoing the entire run of scream five and i believe 185 million would end up making scream six the highest earned film in the series beating out the original movie beating out scream two beating out scream three so I mean, what an ironic turn of events, honestly. I mean, it, it's quite amazing what happens when you live in reality from time to time. As for Scream 7, I wouldn't be shocked to learn that the cast is assembled for the most part. And all we need now are our newbies to be cast or have people fill in those roles for the newbies. Because I'm expecting a lot of Scream 7 to deal with returning characters. I just think that's the route they're going down once more. Uh, Scream 6 kind of already took us in that route. I think Scream 7 will just take us to an even bigger route. The script for Scream 7, I would think, is probably, if not if not finished halfway there i will 100 percent anticipate filming to begin later this year for scream 7 if they want to shoot it this year since we just found out that mason has joined i think that y2k project from a24 that's going to start filming very soon and i think radio silence also has a project that they're about to start shooting soon as well so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts on all of this box office updates for scream 6 which continues to break records after it was thought to be a flop uh, let me know down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Scream 7? What do you hope to see in Scream 7? Jumping into Friday the 13th, or better yet, the Crystal Lake TV series. A24 and Brian Fuller's upcoming Friday the 13th prequel series titled Crystal Lake is arriving on Peacock in 2024. At least that's the plan, according to Adrian King, who we know is returning to the franchise uh, in some capacity. I think I've seen speculation online about her possibly being pamela Voorhees, which i wouldn't mind i wouldn't see i wouldn't mind seeing her in that role now she let this be known during a recent ig post with her and fuller meeting to discuss the upcoming show let it be known that it could be that it's coming in 2024 that being now remember fuller apparently has a three season plan but a fourth season could always happen as well we know kevin williamson is expected to write an episode of the upcoming series this series is being looked at as a pre remake -will, if you will i think that's what it's been looked at as whatever that means to me that means that we will dive deeper into pamela and jason before the series picks up after one of the many film sequels and start its own new timeline from there that's what i could see happening uh but we'll see what the show has to offer several iterations of jason of course are expected to appear during the series run which has had several longtime fans like myself very excited to see this now as for when i see the show airing they had a friday the 13th that many people were hoping would be the date that the show premieres this year but that's not happening it seems like it's coming 2024 according to again adrian king so in 2024, the only Friday the 13th I'm aware of, because they don't have to actually drop it on Friday the 13th, it's just likely that they might do that. You have September, and I think the other one is in December. So chances are it'll drop September 2024. That sounds ideal. Uh, if you want to drop it on the Friday the 13th and not drop it in December, of course, you could always drop it in December. Nothing wrong with that. But they could, again, all, always just not drop it on a Friday the 13th. There's nothing requiring them to. It's just something I think they will do for obvious reasons, given the IP that it's associated with. Jumping into Chucky Season 3, Chucky Season 3 is expected to start filming at the end of April on the 27th, according to a production listing for the upcoming season. Now, Chucky Season 3 was announced not too long ago after fears of a of a cancellation were beginning to grow amongst the fandom but we know that our friend to the end will be back once more and will not leave us hanging so my hopes for the upcoming show involve well not just me i know many of you hope for this too making it darker getting to see nika and tiffany clash seeing caroline's betrayal resolved or brought up once more again in some capacity although i think it's pretty obvious that will she's she's living with tiffany and chucky attacked tiffany at the end of season two when we found out that that was actually a chucky doll the whole time wearing a wig and of course what's going on with Gigi? no I mean, like, seriously, though, for a second here, it was nice to hear Billy Boyd's voice once more. 
that was something I was just very nostalgic over when I heard it during my early viewing of the episode I just couldn't believe what I was hearing it was the first time he had participated in the series since since Seed of Chucky which was back in 2004 many of us were kids at the time uh we could see Lexi Devin Jake and Miss Fairchild possibly team up that's another prediction I have maybe they could team up to take out Chucky my other thoughts are will andy and kyle return i kind of don't want them to to be honest but if the threat of chucky pops up on their radar i think they'll always hunt him so that other kids don't go through what they had to alone so will chucky season three probably also start planting seeds for megan versus chucky that's always a possibility as well we'll learn a lot of things about what this season will offer of course as the the premiere date pr premiere date approaches and of course we'll learn all we need to once it airs later this fall in October, I would presume. But you guys can chime it down below. Let me know what you hope to see regarding Chucky season three. Who do you hope to see return also? Because I think they also have made it clear that we could have some returning legacy cast members from maybe Child's Play 3, like uh, De Silva or Tyler even, or some other people from Bride of Chucky who we haven't seen, like Jake and Jesse uh or jade and jesse i think are their names so lastly i want to talk about joker 2 we got a look another new look at harley quinn for joker folly i'll do lady gaga in this image or images i would say looks great to be honest i don't think this is a final form because i'm noticing a lot of heat around this look not being that over the top as many people expected it to be or may have wanted again however i don't think that she'd show up to court looking that extreme and i believe we'll see the look evolve over time throughout the movie as this toxic bond just plays out between the two of course if this is her final form then i would say it's a very grounded take that still feels appropriate and lets me know this is harley quinn I'm just thinking that there's no way her final form would be the first thing that she wears, especially not to a court case. <laughs> I just think the ending of Joker 2 will give us a better, more over the top persona of Harley Quinn with probably a better attire that you guys could appreciate. If you are someone who does not like this look that you're seeing already from Lady Gaga's iteration of Harley Quinn. But you guys can chime in down below. Let me know what you think about all these updates. Uh, are you looking forward to any of these? upcoming tv shows what are your thoughts on scream six box office records if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video